Hey guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. How's everybody doing on this Tuesday? Come on in and let me know. Say hello when you get here. I'm getting it pulled up so I can read your comments, but I wanted to say uh, we are getting sprinkled over into the Craft Around the Clock group. This is my segment for Craft Around the Clock, and I love the group, so if you're not in there, be sure you do get in. I have the link up in the description of this video, but I think if you're watching me, you probably are already in there, so just come on in and say hi. We painted this yesterday here uh, on the group in the group and on my page and then today we're going to add glass to it so when we're done let's see it will look something like this so we've added glass and resin and a little bit of pearl and rhinestone embellishments you can see and it just makes it super pretty so i'm going to show you two ways to do that today so Hello, Diane. Glad you're here. Y'all get me sprinkled out. Facebook is really punishing me right now, and I am just not doing well with Facebook. So if you guys would help me get this out there, I would really appreciate it. Hello, guys. Come on in and say hey. Happy Tuesday to you. Happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yesterday, when I painted the pumpkin, uh, so many of you discussed your experience with breast cancer. Many of you have lost someone to breast cancer. Um, some of you have lost a mom or a sister, an aunt, a friend, even a daughter or a niece. And uh, I wrote all of those down to pray for you guys. And I really take that seriously. You know, I know that we're going to do a lot of pink this month. You're going to see it everywhere. And that may be a tender spot for you. So I am sorry but the reason we do pink in the month of October is to get the awareness out there to encourage women to get their regular mammograms and all the things. So, you know, just spread this out there and, and everything you do that's pink because the more people that are encouraged to go, I was encouraged to make my appointment, you know. Um, a lot of us put that off. We really dislike doing that. And so um, I think the more we can talk about it and normalize it and say, yeah, it stinks, but I have to as well. Let's just do it together. We'll go have lunch and shop after or whatever. So, you know, we want to get this message out there. Hi, Mary. I loved what you did today and yesterday. Hi, Ann. Glad you're here. Y'all say a little hello. Hi, Maddie. How are you today? And Barbara, Elizabeth, Diane. I love seeing you guys pop in. Hi, Levada and Joyce. Levada, thank you for the stars, my friend. I appreciate it already. Thank you, Sharon. Um, you got, hi, Dana. Just come on in and say hi. So yesterday, like I said, if you missed it, we painted this yesterday. You can go back and see that tutorial either on my page, on YouTube, or in the Craft Around the Clock group. It's a very easy pumpkin. In fact, I could paint another one today. We're going to have time, but I will go ahead and probably do the glass part first because I know some people are here just to see that. And then if we have time, which I think we will, then we will paint another one or something else that's pink. So, yes, spreading the blessings. I appreciate that. And yet, yes, that's right, Mary. You know, we can't just assume things are going to be okay. We can't assume that, you know, that, I don't know, we just take our days for granted sometimes. So we've got to do the hard things that are going to make us here for the long haul and have the best chance of, you know, fighting something if there is something going on. So don't wait till it's too late. Hello, Debbie and Lynn. Thank you guys. So yesterday I did show how to just glue this glass on. So that's all this is. And you can see how sparkly and shiny. So if you don't want to mess with resin, no problem. You can just glue them on your canvas with some really good permanent clear glue. It needs to be clear glue. And as long as you're not going to allow children to play with it, touch it, you know, because sharp edges can still cut, okay? Uh, but we don't touch our art typically, right? So I think personally it's fine to keep it up on a shelf high, you know. But if you're concerned about that or you have kids or grandkids who would be touching it, then you don't want to probably have any cut glass on your art. But for some of us older ones that you know, it's going to be up on a shelf. No one's going to touch it. Then this is a fine option, okay? So I wanted to say that. How's everybody doing? 
Oh, I sell everything that I make. So if anyone is interested, just message me. I don't really have my things on the website per se because people typically just message me and say, I want that, how much? Um, and that's cool. And I need to probably do something different and have it on there. But also, um, I do have these in art kits. So if you're wanting to paint one, I have an art kit just to paint it on a canvas. It comes with everything you need. And then if you want to do the glass art, I have one that's got all of the elements, which is the glass and the beads and the pearls, the rhinestones, all of the things in that kit. So both of those are on my website, just the link below. Oh my goodness, Michelle, that breaks my heart. And it, I know it's so scary and we do need to be praying for our sisters and friends and, and women. Uh, thank you, Stacy, because it is so scary to have to go through that so young okay so here's our painted one that we did yesterday and we are going to i'm going to show you just kind of the step-by-step -step process of adding the glass can you guys see okay Let's see if i need to pull that down a little bit there oh goodness <clears throat> oh thank you nelda i had to find some pink i love pink's my favorite color but i don't know why i was kind of like where's all my pink i had a little oh no guys Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I carried all my tray of things in there to count out and put into baggies and they're still sitting on my table. So, um, um, we're gonna, we're gonna, let's see. Oh my goodness. Now I've seen somebody else leave their live to go get something Will y'all wait if I do go grab it? I cannot believe I just left it sitting on my table. Oh, thank you, Holly. I don't know. Do I go grab it? Uh, I kind of have to. Um, I really, okay, let's see. Hold on, hold on. My microphone won't let me stretch very far. I actually can still make it work. Oh, I can't. I think I have almost everything I need right here. Oh, that scared me. I think I can do it, guys. Okay, let's go for it. Because I've got my, I've got the important elements right here. So we're going to go for it. The only thing I don't have is my tiny, tiny pearls. But we'll use the bling. So, you know, I love adding some sparkle. I think this would be... My whole thought was this would be a lovely thing to give a woman who is fighting or has fought the battle, right? So these are just tiny little rhinestones. Can y'all see them? And I will put these in place of the pearl pearls that I was going to put on there. And we'll add a few extras. We can make this work, guys. I know. <laughs> I can't believe I left them sitting there. I just never thought about it. It's okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. We got... We have plenty of options because I have just gotten in my Amazon order of things that I needed uh, for some of my projects, upcoming projects. So I've got a fresh stack right here of the rhinestones and the bling. I just don't have those little pearls. That's the only thing I'm missing. So this will be fine. I'll even add in like a big one. See these big ones? Okay, so if I am not going to glue it down, like, you know, there are some times when something round is going to roll and I will glue that down and then pour my resin over. So I might use a dot of glue on the pearls, but otherwise you can just lay down your glass on your surface and then you'll pour your resin over it and have no problem. Oh, Mary, you're so sweet. Do you feel sorry for me? <laughs> Thank you so much for the stars. I appreciate it. Thank you, Nelda. Yeah, I need some help. I really do. My, um, between my brain and Facebook giving me troubles, I'm, um, I could definitely appreciate the help. So all I do, now, I do enjoy placing my glass. You know, you've probably heard me say it if you've ever watched me before. Say so I kind of enjoy placing my glass where I want it. But one thing you can you know you can just plop it down and this is called what i call the dump method and just kind of dump it down you don't have to be careful with placement y'all already just the clear glass 
has leveled it up and made it even prettier. But now I've got this gorgeous pink. Oh, y'all. This comes in a 10 pound bag. Um, so, you know, I just break it up and give everybody a little bit of it. But uh, you can just kind of put this around. You could do the whole thing in pink if you wanted to, but I've done a few and I think having the mix is the prettiest. Having a mix of the pink and the clear seems to look the best. And so just put a few pieces here and there. Um, hi Sandra, how are you today? Hello Linda, Sue, I'm so glad y'all are here. Yes, 1992 Barbara, fantastic. And I hope that you get your t test every year and I'm sure you do. I've noticed that in all the comments, women who've been through it, uh, they definitely get it every year. And that's what we all need to do guys. So. I'm talking to myself, I'm talking to anybody who's like me. If we need to make a pact and make an appointment this week, then message me or put it on a post. Hello, Michelle, glad you're here. You got your ceramic tree? You know what, that's late. I got mine days ago. Hmm, interesting. Um, yes, Michelle, send me a PM, yes. Okay, guys, and so we've got our, you know, pink and our clear down. Let me show you that. It's just already, I think adding glass is so fun. Y'all let me know if you've done it before because I try to kind of go through as much as I can of teaching, but a lot of you probably have already done this and don't need all of the instruction. Now, adding the big bling will just make it even more girly. So you can always add pieces of this. What I do with these small ones though, is I'll use my tweezers at the very end. And once I've, you know, got my resin on it, I will just carefully place them right on top. So I'm not gonna put the little ones on yet. I don't want them just doused in the resin. I want them to sit gently on top. So that's why I wait till the end. I'm also gonna wait till the end on this one, just in case it's got a little bit of a, you know, maybe a fourth of an inch or less right there of the gold, but I just want to be sure it's on top and not doused with the resin. I just think it's prettier to have. Oh, <laughs> you got your tree too good. I can't wait for you guys to paint them. I love doing ceramics. I will be ordering again soon. If you missed out on the ceramics that I offered, just go to my website and sign up for the email. Oh, by the way, guys, when you sign up for emails, you really have to be sure that you check for Art and Grace, so you might type in Art and Grace because they're just going to junk or spam or promotions. They're going somewhere where you're not seeing them because my report will tell me who's, who opened it and literally they're just sitting there not getting open. So you might check that. If you've been on a wait list for something, then you probably got an email and just never saw it. So just public service announcement while I thought about it. Okay, so I'm pulling aside a few of these little crystals that we'll do kind of at the end okay then i'm gonna have some pearls now like i said i don't have any of the tiny ones in here they're all in my tray on the kitchen table getting ready to ship out kits that have been ordered already but i'll just pop in a few of these big ones which is they're beautiful they're you know the larger the better so that's fine but what really comes with the kit are the smaller ones so let me show you these size and <clears throat> you know if you want to I have to have people do this a lot like with the beach one that I did I had people break up that kit and make two kits with it so they use half of the stuff on one and half on the other which is a great idea so you might want to do that too with this and and get two kits out of it basically so I always do things in odd numbers so one two three four five six I'll do five I don't want six and just kind of separate them so that they're not all bunched together just kind of working them in wherever and I don't like it to look too perfect I think it looks strange when everything is really symmetrical so you can kind of mess with it but then kind of let it be organic too you know so something like this would be how I like it. What do y'all think? Do you like, oh, do you like that? I tilted it too much, a little too much. This is crushed glass, by the way, that I'm putting on just, that's all it's called, crushed glass. 
You can get it on Amazon. I have it in my Amazon storefront, the one that I buy. And I've tested uh, another one recently that I like, but I only really, you know, I haven't used it enough to like do a review on it or put it on my storefront. But when I am sure I love it and it works well, then I will list it. I just, I will not put anything on there that I'm not 100% love with or the company you know the company has to be good and quick and and all that so okay I think I've got it how I have how I like it I'm going to kind of move some things out of my way y'all still with me so I've got all of that there Donna, thank you so much. Oh, you like it, Sandra? Thank you, Donna, for sprinkling. I appreciate it so much. Okay, you always need gloves when you deal with resin. So these are just, um, you know, like physicians use, but they're no, um, what's the word? Latex, no latex. And you can get these on Amazon as well. I've got that on my, on my Amazon site also because I use, you just have to use them. So if you order a kit, you get a pair with your kit, but if you're going to do this yourself, then you're going to want a pair of these gloves, or you're going to want a box of the gloves. You always need a couple of paper towels. You can hear my dog. I just saw the Amazon guy walk up, and I'm like, that's got to be for me, because I just ordered something, so I hope it's mine. Um, you want, you know, medicine cups, which also come in the kit, but uh, any little medicine cups will work. You can reuse these. Uh, you just need to take a paper towel and alcohol and just wipe it out really well when you're done and just let it dry and then you can reuse them as many times as you want to uh, if they you know if you don't rinse them out and they have like stuff at the bottom then you're not going to obviously want to reuse that but you can if you want to and that saves money hi Cheryl glad to see you did you go live early this morning or am I dreaming might have been another day because I wish I could have caught you Aw, thanks, Sandra. You guys that sprinkle me out just make my day. Thank you. Facebook, I'm telling you, it's like I'm being punished. I don't know what's going on, but it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. Okay, then you're going to need a stir stick, just a craft stick from the, you know, craft section. And these also are in the kit. Toothpicks are in the kit, so I always have a toothpick uh, handy to push things around or to get a speck of dust out, things like that. Uh, but tweezers. I don't put those in the kit, obviously, but grab a pair of tweezers. These are, I got these at like Michael's a long time ago in a big set, but just go to Amazon and find some tweezers that you can use. I have, like I said, I have a set, so they've got all different points and, you know, you just have different types of tweezers. So that is what you're going to need to kind of be able to do this. And then of course your resin. And I'm not going to go into my spiel. I say it every time. So just watch any of my glass art videos and you will hear my spiel probably about making sure you do your research and find the resin that works for you and your family. This is the one that I feel the most comfortable with, safest with. I have no worries of my brain or my family or my dog. So um, do your research. I really highly recommend. I've seen other creators who have just grabbed one off the shelf at Walmart or Hobby Lobby and trust that it's okay. I don't do that. Like resin is not, it's chemicals. And you know, we need to be sure we know what we're using. And just cause it's on the shelf, we know that just cause it's on the shelf doesn't mean it's safe. So also with a mount, um, it just varies on size. This is six by six. So it's a pretty small size. Um, I'm going to use about 7.5 cc's each, which is 7.5 milliliters. Um, I believe that's a fourth of an ounce. I, I can't even tell. I think it's a fourth of an ounce, so it'll be a half an, of an ounce total. And I all or I usually do just a little bit more than that so that I can resin something else I have laying around because I almost always have several things so that when I do the pouring, I can just do them all at once because it is, you see, it is kind of a ordeal, not ordeal, but you know, you're getting out a lot of stuff. You have to have something to pop the bubbles. I use a butane torch, like from what people would use in their kitchen. Um, Amazon, my sweet friend, Christy Reynolds, who you probably see on here a lot, 
she bought this for me and had it sent to me from Amazon. I was so grateful. Um, so this is what I use to pop mine, but you can use a heat gun. You want high, high heat on a uh, low set. You don't want it to blow. You don't use a blow dryer. You don't want to use anything that's going to put out a fast stream of heat. You know, you want it to kind of be calm. That's why this works so well. And I've, seen, I've heard people use the long lighters, you know, they, so you could try that. I've never tried that. These are not that much that I think it's worth it if you're going to do it. Hello, Debbie from Secondhand Treasures. Good to see you, my friend. How are you guys in Florida doing? Hi, Teresa. Glad you're here. Art resin does not turn yellow. Thank you, Candy. It is fantastic. I love it. Yes. Hello, Joanne from Arkansas. I love knowing where you're from. Thanks for telling me. Thank you, Nelda, for spreading the love. Love seeing you guys say hi to each other. Hello, Shelly Ann. Okay, I think I got a little caught up. Now, uh, let's go ahead and start to pour. And I know, I think, Shelly Ann, if, if, you want, if someone wants to be the timekeeper, I don't see Christy. She typically does it for me, but I haven't seen her. So, we'll, if somebody has time to... Uh, once I get these mixed together, then it'll be a three minute, you know, I'll have to stir it really well for three minutes. And you see, I'm not taking my eye off of this line. You want it to be exactly to the line, whatever line you're doing for your size. Um, on each because if you get one a little bit more than the other it will not set up correct it might take weeks for it to get hard or it might not get hard at all so you really need to oh somebody said I got you thank you candy appreciate you whoever whoever okay Shelly I see you anybody <laughs> you guys are awesome thank you I always kind of panic a little like oh I'm gonna ask um, I should know you guys are amazing best women on the internet on this page and I know I see y'all everywhere but I appreciate you guys so we're gonna do the same exact amount with our hardener it's a two-part system 50 50 there is a smell but it's not strong so if I was to and I'm not going to but if I was going to inhale right here by the nozzle of course I'm gonna smell it but I get migraines sometimes I get I get them when I smell certain perfumes uh, or certain smells like that. Candles will do it. Oh, hold on. And um, so this does not give me a headache. So that says a lot. But remember, chemicals can still do damage without you smelling them, right? So that's why it's very important to read the SDS, the safety sheet for whatever product you're going to use and know the risks and if you feel like you might need extra caution then get a respirator you know just order a respirator off of Amazon and wear that have a window open have a fan going which I do um, you know there's just no replacing your health you cannot get it back once it's gone and neurological issues you know that those don't usually go away Oh, I know your oh wait your car tunnel is gone your car tunnel is gone does that mean like what you park your car under and some shingle I'm so sorry I'm so glad y'all are okay though Melbourne Arkansas oh love that I was thinking when I saw Melbourne I was like Melbourne wow okay so because I'm not using a lot for this size of a canvas I can pour these together and uh, we will just do them in one, you know, container here. If I was going to do any more than this, I would pour them into a larger little cup. I have some plastic cups. And if I'm just going to do one real quick, I'll use a Dixie cup. You know, you really don't want to use paper, to be honest. So I wouldn't recommend it. But i am just tell you I do sometimes if I'm in a hurry. So from this point, I'm going to stir for three minutes. And I know somebody's got my time. I'm not even worried about it. And it's cloudy right now. Can y'all see that? But as I stir, it's obviously combining the two. And it will get clear when that three minutes is up. 
and I'm stirring slowly and gently. I don't want to, uh, you know that, <laughs> whip it good. We're not doing that <laughs> because you'll get so many air bubbles, it will just be a big pain. And, you know, recommended way is slow. So just slow and easy. And every so often you're going to scrape off your stick and scrape the sides and just be sure that it's all getting mixed thoroughly so that it sets up really well. Oh, hi Sheila, how are you today? Good to see you, my friend. How are you? How's LJ? How's all the things? And I'm so happy you're gonna get to quit your job. That is amazing to do this full time. You know, you, you do this full time, you know that. So you're just gonna get to, you know, hopefully work a lot less hours uh, with oh my goodness I don't know how you do it oh while you're driving back to work from lunch you sweet thing I'm glad you popped in I need to message you about something anyway that's a good reminder it's not enough hours in the day I feel like time just goes so fast so occasionally you'll see me kind of start scraping the sides and scraping the stick six more days wow I know they are going to be so sad to lose you but you know you're you have a gift you're going to get to use it for God's glory all the time I'm proud not that you weren't you were using it there as well but this is you know so many people uh, need what creators can offer online and you know it's just a different world than what it used to be I was thinking this morning about different traditions we had with the kids growing up you know like going to a pumpkin patch our kids used to ride on a what do you call um with hay bales in the back of the trailer a hay ride I guess um we used to do that in our neighborhood because we lived out in the country when they were little and um it just was like they go driving by and pick people up and get on the trailer and go for a hay ride and you know all those fun things and our world is so different and so much more stressful and so I I think that there's such a need for the online groups and people and all the things I know we're happy hi Juanita glad you popped in let's see afraid I've missed anything Jeannie did I say hi to you hello girl glad you're here I loved your beautiful art you did the other day with the flowers I just wish I had more time to sit and watch oh time's up candy says thank you oh oh Sheila sky's the limit trust me you you're you're golden thank you Shelly Ann I appreciate you guys so now you'll see it's clear See that? I hope y'all can tell, but it's clear. There are bubbles, but look at, that's how many bubbles we have just from stirring. So can you imagine if we really, you know, stirred fast? So now all you're gonna do is drizzle this over your, just drizzle it over the glass and the embellishments, whatever you've put on, the pearls or anything else you're gonna use. And it's not too late. You've got about 30, I say 30 minutes to play around with it. So I'm gonna take out my little toothpick and kind of move my glass a little bit because as I held it up to show you guys, some of it kind of moved around. So you can still play with it. If, you know, somebody needed me to go sign something, I could get up and go do it and come back. You know, you've got about 30 minutes is a safe estimate of time for you to continue, just set this aside and, and come back to it if you had to. I mean, I don't, but you could. So just kind of get it how you want it. Make sure you like the way it looks. On my pumpkins, I just tend to do about halfway up or so because you want some of that painting. We, we did a really pretty painting and you don't want to cover all that up. You just want to enhance it. So then I'm just drizzling over every piece and I know it sounds like daunting, like, oh, every single piece, but it obviously goes fast the way we do it. We just swap our stick across it a few times. But as long as the resin has touched that piece of glass, 
it drizzles down onto the canvas and then it will not budge after we're done. I mean, it doesn't go, it will not go anywhere, even if you tried, so. Oh, good, Dana. I love that. Please post pictures in the group for us to see. Oh, thanks, Sheila. Thank you, Linda Sue. I really, really love doing this pink one. And, you know, I just uh, think it's so important to encourage our sisters, our friends to get their mammograms also. So things like this are a great icebreaker. You know, if it's awkward, you can just go, you know, I think we should go get our mammogram. I watched this lady do art and she was talking about, wait, let's just set an appointment, go do it. We'll go get lunch because because that's kind of what it takes for some of us we just don't want to do it we don't like it you know put it off and then there goes another year and so maybe you need to encourage somebody maybe you need to take action you know and uh say you know i made us both an appointment i don't know <laughs> it's almost always free but i did yesterday put a site on my website i mean on my page just a post where you can click on it and no matter what state you're in it will show you somewhere you can get a free mammogram and that's just you know it's like i don't remember breastcancer.org or something like that that's just one website you know you can just check in your area and there will be many many others that offer free sometimes even the mobile units will come you know around your area and you can go to a parking lot where they're going to be sitting and get one done that way and there's nothing wrong with those I took my mom my mom when she had Alzheimer's would never you know she just would freak out about anything medical like needles or anything you know so um, they just lose their rational ability at that point so I took her to a mobile unit where I knew they could all she had to do was walk from the car up three little steps of that little mobile unit and we got her a flu shot um, her doctor had recommended she get one and so we did that and I mean it was over in two seconds he was really sweet with her so maybe you need to find one of those so all I'm doing is taking my stick and spreading it around this is self leveling so it will continue to level out you do need a level you can use one on your phone if you don't have a little you know Dollar Tree level I don't even see mine here but um, I have a shelf over you just can't see it but I have a shelf that I put mine on and it is level so I just know that's the best spot um, if I'm gonna work in here I'll go put it somewhere else usually uh, but cover it and everything because I just don't want to be in the room with the smell or the you know resin but um, just want to have it on a level surface so that it doesn't turn out wonky I've had it turn out wonky before because it tipped over a little bit and it kind of was like this so obviously all of the resin kind of came to one side you don't want that it's just wasted you can't you don't want it so just got to be on something level and I do go ahead and spread it out with my stick even though it will self level you need to be sure that there's not going to be any areas that aren't covered you'll see a little bit dripping right here so I'm just going to take my finger and kind of grab that um, and there's nothing you can I mean it's still going to be kind of be there but that's okay because what I do at the end when this is cured in a day or two I will go over the sides with my triple thick and make them glossy but with triple thick instead of resin I don't want the drips of resin because they can get pretty tacky and and just not not good looking so that's the way I do mine yes Debbie that is what a lot of people do and I think that is super super smart and when I worked full-time that is what I did I just had like a you know every August you know you just kind of when you have it they make you the next one and and all that but I'm no longer working at a hospital and no longer have that good insurance so okay once I'm sure everything is covered then I, I'm just gonna take this stick and kind of pull it to the sides make sure it's all to the sides and I'm not sure if you guys are getting it on camera probably not too well but 
making sure it is to the sides. And once it is, and you'll you notice I'm not really overusing resin. Now a lot of people use a lot more than I do, uh, but that's when you start getting a lot of drips and a lot of stuff coming over the sides. And so I tend to use the least amount that will still give me the really pretty glossy look. So let me hold up this one that I've already done to show you. So this was one half an ounce of resin total. It was 0.75 of hardener and 0.75 of the resin. So this is what mine looks like and you can see it's nice and shiny. I don't really personally need more than that. So some people will just continue to layer and layer and put a lot of resin, but you know, and that's just personal preference. Personal preference. Oh, you did Donna, awesome. Did anybody else paint their pink pumpkin? I hope y'all will post it on your page. You just don't know. I mean, you're encouraging people to paint or to be creative and bringing a little joy when they see it. They're like, oh, a pink pumpkin. <laughs> and giving them an idea and um, all the things reminding them breast cancer awareness okay so i've got it all down i'm going to take my finger and i am going to just take my finger and bring it basically to the edge and just slightly over if that makes sense so i don't want it running down the side but i do want this you know the edges for it to come to the edges really well Whew. but did you notice that i can turn it this way and my glass really doesn't move it will if I hold it there, but it's already having a good secure hold there. We're going to put on our embellishments. Oh my goodness, time goes by so fast. Wow. Um, so I'm going to take my tweezers. Can y'all see? You do, Sandra. I want to see y'all's pink pumpkins. You can tag me or put it on my page definitely put it in my group you know the art and craft showcase is my free group you can post your paintings or anything you make and just decide where you want it you know i just kind of look around and see where it needs a little something something and that's part of the fun is to just decide where to place things i think i want it Hold on, why is it really holding to my tweezer there? Must have gotten some on my tweezer. Hold please, hold please. Let me grab my other tweezers. I have these others. I wanted to show you all these anyway. Well, just all kind of shapes. You know, you can get them in all kind of shapes. So see, just pop that down where you want it. And as long as it's touching resin, it will stay and not go anywhere. And now we'll put on a few of our little bigger pieces. Remember when I said, oh, I left my tray in that other, in the kitchen. This is actually gonna be gorgeous because I'm using a little bit bigger rhinestones, which I think now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, wow, that's really pretty. So probably, a great idea and I will include these in the kit since I'm showing them to you <laughs> I'm not gonna go no you get the little ones you can have these large ones they're really really pretty okay see that now these little ones I'm gonna put where my little flowers have that little dot in the center and we're just popping them down in that center dot just like that y'all see oh debbie that makes me happy guys share this with your followers like debbie's got a page some of you others uh mary did pink um who else did i see oh yesterday who was that ah oh, i'm blank if it was you and you're on here you'll have to tell me but somebody yesterday was doing a pink uh, pumpkin and said, you know, I saw Deb and I was like, yes, I need to do pink. So think of how much we can help women by just continuing to encourage these mammograms and checking on each other and all that. Okay, so I love it. I think that's good. If you wanted to add more, you can. If you have more things to add, one, two, three, four, five. The only thing is I don't like, I feel like too many pearls 
together. I'm going to move this one over here. So now I like it better. Y'all see that? Now, the only thing I have to do next is if you want to hold it up and kind of look at it and see if you see any. So when these little glass pieces might have tiny little chips or tiny, tiny little particles of paint, I guess, or whatever they use to color it that breaks off or you might have an eyelash or a little hair or a speck of something. So you can take your toothpick and you can just kind of grab that little speck you see. Um, and the most of the times when I grab something, it's just a tiny speck of paint or something like that that has come off of something that I've dumped on here. Like a, when I say paint, I mean off of the glass or something. I don't know what it is really. So once I can see that it's for the most part just bubbles left then I'll take my torch and this is so easy to use it's intimidating probably to some of you because I had never used one for the kitchen or any other reason but all you do is on um, let's see for this one I think it twist I don't even remember now <laughs> how I did it but it came with instructions and I did oh it's on the bottom so there's that little thing it's like a little hole and you take the can of butane and it goes up in there and just automatically when you press it in it loads it full and you turn the button to turn it on and then you just hold it down and this is the flame setting high or low you know just medium is good and you're just gonna from you know a good distance you don't want it too close you don't want it too far either and you want to be careful of what's around you so you don't want to have any paper the paper that this is on will catch on fire if I held you know if I touch this down so you need to be careful obviously but I'm just gonna quickly right onto this canvas just take my torch and quickly you see I'm moving a lot and just pop those bubbles and then I'll let this sit here for about five minutes and then I'll look at it again and see if any others have risen to the top and if they have I pop them but after that I just go set it on that shelf and I have a little dust cover that is like a tent you get um, you'll see them at the Dollar Tree in the summer but it's you know kind of a little tent that covers food so flies don't get in it but you can use a box so picture this large and clear that is ideal so that you can put it over and see in like a shoe box it's clear but it doesn't have to be clear you can just use a regular Amazon box and turn it over so that it's covering this because there is little particles and dust in the air that could land on it and also if you have a gnat or a fly it will land on it it will because it I don't know why it thinks it's sweet or something I don't know so anyway thank you guys thank you so much it times up every time it goes so fast so I'll just set this aside and let it cure and tomorrow I will show you a picture but this is what it will look like and go to the link down below for my website or in the description of this video, y'all. Let's go watch Jennifer. My friend Jennifer with Sweet Home Sweet Create is next. So I'll see you in the comments with her. Bye guys, have a great day. Thank you for being here.